All right, so this is just an overview of some of the products that I will be using for my DIY gel manicure and pedicure. Let's go ahead and get started. So as y'all can see, my crusty, dusty, rusty feet. Child, we still got toenail polish on one big toe. Anyways, I'm going to add in some Epsom salt to my little pedicure machine and it's just filled up with warm water. And then I'm adding some soothing foot powder. If you have athlete's feet, uh, which I don't, but I like to just pre take preventative measures. And I add that to the water. And this is a Sonic Soak Off. This uh, is acetone and it will literally take anything off. Gel manicure, it'll take off. Dip powder, uh, regular polish, it works really, really good. So I'm taking that on a cotton ball and taking off my nail polish on my toes. And I am letting my feet soak in that water of Epsom. Look at my dog. Hey, Nipsey. Shall I go, Nipsey, now? Go. Okay, then I am taking this. I don't know what it's called, but it's like a callus remover. There we go. And it has like a fine blade on it, and you can really feel where the tough parts of your feet are, which is a lot of times the ball of the feet or the heels of the feet. And you just kind of scrape it away, the sides, all that little, you know, rough stuff. Um, just blading that sucker on. Then I'm taking this barefoot apricot and plum foot scrub which it was pretty cool it was a little thin i like more aggressive um scrubs but this one was pretty cool and i'm just taking that foot scrub y'all please excuse my dog taking that foot scrub and scrubbing my feet yeah And then I am taking this, it's not a pumice stone, what is this? I don't know. It's like an extra exfoliator, a manual exfoliator, which I really like. I actually keep it in my shower and I'm just, it's kind of a rough material and I'm just scrubbing my feet away. Scrubbing, you know, like I said, the sides of my feet, the heels, the ball of my feet, all that good stuff. And we are getting these babies smooth as a baby's bottom. Doing this voiceover makes me think about ASMR. Okay. Anyways, just scrubbing. Now I'm taking the pumice stone and I am just going to smooth any uh, rough spots or whatever that I may have dug up. So the pumice stone is just to smooth everything on out. Okay, and now I'm taking this cuticle pusher, and this is by the brand Revlon, and it's a pretty good heavy duty one, and I'm just pushing my cuticles back, um, making sure everything is, you know, nice and smooth on my toenails, and I am getting any excess dirt or skin or whatever from under my toes and now I am taking this what is this called I don't know is this a cuticle clipper maybe and I'm just going kind of around my toes and getting any of that dead excess skin that sometimes can uh, be on your toenails I'm just clipping that away then I'm taking this right her um, which is y'all know a toenail clipper and what I'm doing is cutting straight across because I like my toenails to look square so instead of like an oval shape, I'm cutting straight across. And I'm doing that with all my toes, child.
And now I'm taking a toenail filer or fingernail filer and I, you guys can't really see, I should have zoomed in, but I'm keeping the filer straight. I'm not bending it. I'm keeping it straight to achieve that square toe look that I told you guys I like for my toes personally. So I'm just filing those down really nicely. And now I'm taking some Willetta or Willetta Skin Food brand. This is ultra rich cream. Um, it's really thick and really moisturizing. And I'm taking that all over my feet uh, because the, yeah, after you get them out of the water, you need to moisturize them. So, and this works really good. Look at that luster. Luster. Then I'm taking, this is Argan uh, cuticle oil, and I'm taking that all over each toe and putting it on my cuticles. And I will be rubbing that in. It's good for your cuticles, girl. Okay, after I rubbed it in, then I am taking um, some alcohol, or is it acetone, one of them, on a cotton ball, and I'm just taking any residue that's on my toenail because we are getting ready to polish, and the polish is not gonna stick if you have something oil or creamy on the actual toenail. But the rest of my feet are still moisturized, very much so. Now I'm putting in toe separators because, hey, we need our toes to be separated. And I'm taking black nail polish, any brand. As you guys can see, I did one foot and it looks pretty good. So I'm just painting my toenails in um, a very patient way, not rushing through, making sure I coat the nail evenly in the first thin layer. And yeah, we're just gonna paint the rest of these toes, girl. And this is the second coat that I'm going in with, extra speedy. Okay, and after that dried, I added some gel top coat. And this is going to ensure that my toe, my pedicure lasts a while. And this is what makes it gel. So um, that's why I say you really can go in with any polish as long as the top coat is gel and it's gonna last a nice um, time this is the Sally Hansen gel top coat and I am going in with my blue light is it LED or UV light I don't know but whatever cures it and I am doing two coats of gel so I paint one gel put it under the light take it out put another coat and then put it back under the light again and I'm telling y'all, this makes my pedicures last so long and they have a great shine and luster and I love it. Now what I'm doing is just taking some acetone on a Q-tip just to get any mishaps or any marks or anything that uh, I may have messed up when I was painting my toes. So anything that I, you know, may have painting a piece of my skin. I'm just taking it off with some acetone. And lastly, for the pedicure, I'm taking just pure alcohol on a cotton swab and going over the toes. What this is doing is taking off that first layer so that the toes aren't tacky. Now we are completely done, honey. They look good to me. I think they look pretty darn good and they felt great too. Hmm. Now let's go ahead and get into our manicure so i am starting with um yeah my nails i'm clipping my nails just they're not all even but just clipping away any making sure everything is smooth and not broken because my nails break a lot and just clipping them away to make sure they look good to my standards
Then I'm taking my fowler and fouling the rough parts and just making sure they're further smooth, like I said. Now I'm taking my cuticle pusher and pushing back my cuticles, which my cuticles on my nails are actually pretty good. They're, they're pretty intact, but I'm just, you know, making sure everything is cool. Pushing in cuticles. And i taking the cuticle clipper, clipping some of those dead pieces of skin away. Then that same argan cuticle oil. I love this stuff because it absorbs so well. I'm putting that all over my cuticles like I did for my feet. Okay, and now I am going in, after that cuticle oil was settled in, I'm going in with my black nail polish and doing basically the same thing. Applying that first coat, a nice thin, even layer. Hey, while you're watching this, go ahead and check out some of my other videos that I have uploaded. I uploaded an Amazon quarantine haul. If you guys are interested, it will be on the screen. Okay, girl. Okay, and now I'm going in with the second coat. And then the final step, which is the top coat of gel polish to ensure longevity. putting my hands right up under that Sally Hansen uh, UV light. Is it UV or LED? I don't know. The blue light. The gel light. And now I was just putting my thumbs in to make sure my thumbs got a piece of the action too. And then the alcohol for the top coat to get off that first tacky layer. You don't want to rub too hard, but just enough to get off that first layer. And we are done with the uh, manicure. What you guys think? Black toes, black nails, Black Lives Matter. We love it. Black everything. Thank you guys so much for watching.